Here we are at Sycamore Baptist in Sycamore, Alabama, right outside of Sylacauga, Alabama. Sycamore Baptist Church to uh, celebrate Valentine's with them tonight. We're honored to be here. We're here now with Brother Hill, who is the interim pastor here, and the last time we sang about two years ago, he was here. Brother Hill, it's great to be back. How are things going at Sycamore since we were last here? Things are going great. I'm just happy to be here. I really am. It's a great church. It's a privilege to be here serving the folks while they're seeking the Lord's direction and leadership to, to find the right right man for this church. God has a pastor in, in mind, and so we're just waiting on his timing. Brother Hill, we stated you were the interim pastor. Where all of you served? Have you mainly served in this area, your ministry, or where all has it taken you? Well, beginning at, at age 18 in Selma, where I grew up, and, and surrendered to the ministry when I was 18 years old. Began pastoring a church at age 18, and from there, educated in Birmingham and Samford, and and then beyond that, but primarily my pastors have been in uh, Alabama, from north to south, uh, Birmingham to Heflin to back to Selma, to the Dothan area, uh, Slocum, Alabama, and back to Anniston, and then it's in the last five years, uh, the interim work that I've been doing in several churches, and primarily in this particular county. You know, my dad was a pastor, and I know what it's like to move from one area to the other. Fortunately for me, we never had to move while I was growing up. We went to different churches, but never moved. But in your years of ministry, if you had to think of one embarrassing moment, what would that moment be? Because I know you've had many. Yeah, I had many, like most pastors have. I think probably, for me personally, the most embarrassing moment was in my first pastoring. At age 18, I, had, uh, I knew nothing about how to baptize and that little country church had no baptistry within the facility, so we baptized in a creek, Mulberry Creek. And uh, the first young man that uh, I had the privilege of baptizing was 17 years old. And he was actually physically larger than myself. So we were in the creek on Sunday afternoon for the baptismal service and not knowing what I was doing, other than I knew what to say, I thought. <laughs> I took him down into the water head first downstream and when that happened obviously the uh, the stream of water the current picked his feet out of the water and his feet came up first and he turned a complete somersault grabbed me around the neck he could not swim he was mortified in <laughs> water and he and i both cut three or four flips round and round in the in the creek until finally i was able to free myself from him before he drowned me. Oh, now right. that's pre that he is pretty good first. there. Yeah. That is, well, yeah. have you always been a full-time pastor, or were there times when you well, were no. bivocational? Of course, yeah. My first, uh, my first pastorate was uh, bivocational. I was a student, obviously. I was still in high school when I first started pastoring, and then went to Sanford University and commuted. And from there, went to. I've done several things. I was. I've been a youth minister. I served a couple of churches in the area of music and education. Associate pastor a couple of places, and I've actually pastored uh, five churches in the 50 years that I've been in the ministry. But other various and sundry uh, roles, and so forth, positions in the church. 
Well, Brother Hill, we are excited to be here tonight, and there's going to be clips of the whole service tonight. And uh, again, we're excited that y'all ask us back, and we're really looking forward to it. And again, it's been a pleasure to sit down and talk to you. We're, we're delighted to have you. Hope you can come again. Thank you. I'll just go out right here now and say, praise God, I'm here. Amen. But, uh, we, are, we are glad that uh, they had us back. And uh, Keith does a lot of things, and it's uh, to the end online and have the TT YouTube Thank you. 
Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, we're finally through. A lot of red in the crowd. So, um, yeah, they're all feeling at home right now with a hundred and two feet was what it was when I left it. So I got to kind of get home and check on them. Thank you. Thank you for having us back. You remind me so much of a guy named David Moon. Have you ever heard of him? He used to come here all the time and break the helicopter down. And Somebody's taking a picture of us. <laughs> Lewis, now we graduated. Yeah, and Steve. Well, uh, Mr. Byron signing a CD cover. Well, Melissa, it's come and gone, and we had a great time tonight. We just want to thank you. We know you're a large, vital part of us getting to come back again. But growing up with Neil, y'all were in the band together at Silicaga. What is one high school memory of Neil that you could share with the world? Um, I can remember his, uh, how, what an avid fan of football he is. And we sat behind him not too long at the football game, and he is still an avid fan. He would scream and holler and get red in the face, and he would uh, fuss at the referees. And uh, it was always a joy to sit with him up in the stands because you know, uh, he was he was a, as big of a show as the football game was. You know, it's still funny. I can't watch a game with him now because he gets so mad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. you know, I guess it carries on because he gets as fired up as he does with us here. But um, you're the music director here a little. Tell everybody a little about what kind of music you're doing and where you're leading it. Okay, we, uh, I've been the music director here at Sycamore Baptist Church for about three years now. And we have approximately 21 in our choir. And we do a lot of Southern Gospel, but we're also going into the contemporary, uh, trying to get all uh, walks of life interested. And we just know that we're here to set the tone for worship and to get people ready. And what we, our, our desire is, is to praise God and to get him to come down and, and worship with us every Sunday. And that's our desire here at Sycamore Baptist Church. Melissa, again, thanks. And kids, if you see this, behave because she is your school teacher. Thanks that's again, right. Melissa. Thank you for coming. We enjoyed it.